Ready, darling? Yep, but I'm really nervous. You should have stayed back at the paper. You're the one who wanted to come along. Now, don't bust my chops. Huh? Shh, for heaven's sake, Dwayne. I should have left you in Stockton. You know, camping in the wilderness ain't like life at Club Med. I told you that before we left, but no, you got to complain Dwayne, and complain. People are and looking at us. But them? Don't worry about them. They ain't going to say nothing. They took a vow of silence. Right, kids? Disgusting. Really? What do you do is shout it. Really? The pancakes are lumpy. Pancakes are lumpy. Oh, oh, shut up, Swellen. Just shut your damn yap. You've been braying about coffee all morning, so why don't we get the coffee, huh? Get the coffee and we'll get out of here, okay? Okay. That's why you got it right now. Except death. It uh, calms you. Come on, Amy. Come on, run. Yeah. Run or die, girl. Thanks. Is he okay? Oh. Amy, how's face? Oh, I think he's much better. Nah, it's, it's just a flesh wound. That's the fresh one. Get him out. You gotta hear this kid's story, Hannibal. He says the warden of that prison. I think it's a hell of a story. And if we can prove it, I'll get front page. Not to mention the number of prison breaks that have resulted in the deaths of the escaping prisoners. Miss Allen, if y'all don't mind. I would like to handle this in my own way. I appreciate that you're down here to chronicle my efforts in the national press. But as an academician, I'm not here for personal glory, but to try and effect meaningful prison reform. You uh, got the kit from VA? Yep, I got it right here. I can't believe this thing is gonna work. Sure, it's gonna work. Everybody hates roaches. Put them in your pocket. In my pocket? Right. Let's go. Cockroaches in our clothes. Well, I don't know. Custodian put me through all kinds of hell, throwing my schedule around. Told me I had to get down here this morning before it gets any more out of hand than it already is. Well, I haven't seen a one. Oh, it must have been Louie who called you. Yeah, Louie. Yeah. yeah, but he doesn't come in for an hour. And I don't have authorization to let you do this. Hey! <laughs> Think I want to be up at this hour? Oh, but Louie said I had to be in and out before your uh, shift change. Yeah. But what the heck? We get paid for service calls anyway, you know? So uh, we're out of here. If I could just get you John Hancock, huh, Sergeant? Wouldn't want Louie to think we didn't show up. Uh, sorry, no pen. Oh! Uh, yeah, it looks like a breeding red. Uh, <laughs> Probably comes out of the baseboards. Dark. Yeah, I like lockers. Oh, tell the guys to shake out their clothes before they put them on. Yeah. Oh, and uh, check inside the caps. These are germ carriers. Say, we, you know, we got that other call we could make over on Gower. Oh, uh, hip fagel, yeah, they're open by nine. Right. Right. Just a minute here, bro. Got the kid out? Place the button on the collar with one from the kit. Bringing me along to so how wonderfully sexist. No, we each do what we have to do. If you think you can pick these three locks in ten minutes, then... Uh... This laundry, and we met a man there. Well, they should take about an hour to run this game on her. You, uh, want to shoot some craps? I really got the jazz. Boy, that was great running the con on that hotel clerk. I thought I was pretty good. You were fine. Fine? Yeah. Fine. But we didn't bring any clothes. Yeah, just a cup of toothbrushes in my golf clubs. Me and Peaches ain't gonna need much to wear. <laughs> Come on, Jelly Bug, it's our anniversary. Mm. Hey, you look at here, it's the very same room with the view of the Starlight Chapel and Zandu Hotel right across there. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, thanks, pal. Uh, close the door on your way out and uh, hold our calls. Uh, no wonder I never married. Thanks. What do you think? Look like a three wood to you? Uh-huh. I get the lights. when I clock out tonight.
Getting friendly with the rest of the cabbies, face. Well, they've been kind of short of drivers, so, uh, kid, the way I'm doing with watermelon futures, you're gonna want to get rid of that little thing, get yourself a Mercedes or Cadillac, anyway. You guys think you're gonna hang armor plating all over my new car? You're nuts. We're cut off. We've got a tractor across the road. Forty guys with guns, and you're worrying about your little car. Amy, 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 I'm ashamed of you. Boy, you could con anybody out of anything, couldn't you? I want my car. That's all I care about. I want my car. It's on its way. I feel like I'm waiting for a baby. Well, here comes the little darling now. A couple of bolts and some new paint. You talked me into this face. Whatever it takes to put my cute little new look car back into shape is coming out of your end. My end? Mm. Oh, uh, my end's already down 10%. <laughs> sit there all the time. Oh, yeah? Remember Ray's funeral. Yeah, but that does it. Oh, yeah, we well, got a problem? Yeah, yeah, a medium-sized one. Oh, okay, yeah? Let's go, guys. Come here, let's go! I'm gonna fire! Amy, you all right? It's them. Face? Trish, is that tractor out in the yard work? I think so. I'll check it out. Are you going to go after him? Well, we tried staying out of trouble. It didn't seem to work mm -hmm. for us. Now, listen, Amy, there's a car outside. I want you to take it to a nice little old couple. She'll be waiting for you on Route 4 near the Barlow turnoff. Trish, where's the rest? The rest? Yeah, Ray always kept weapons. And those bullet holes in that gas station came from automatic fire. In the bedroom closet. The keys are on the dresser. I don't think I've ever seen this side of you before. Well, I mean, Face, ever since I've known you, you've had a different bombshell on your arm. I mean, I never really thought any one woman could have this effect on you. She was wonderful. Fun, feisty, smart. She had this kind of a air of mystery about her. Like underneath all that laughter, there was something real secretive and precious to her. I found it mesmerizing. At the end of my sophomore year in college, I decided to give her my fraternity pin. Kind of like a pre-engagement gift. <laughs> so I went over to the dorm to pick her up, only uh, she wasn't there. She left school. Her best friend came down to tell me. Leslie's sorry, but she can't see you anymore. That was it. No other explanations. She was gone for good, and I never found out why. I'm sorry. I know you all think I must be stupid to do this, but I know she's in trouble. And no matter what's happened in the past, I can't just stand by and do nothing. Prince is bound to have some of his uh, buzzards in that scuzzy little bar of his. Amy, break out your heels, honey. You're going in. To pee. Don't you ever learn? Crimin' Nelly. I knew I'd find you in a dump like this. Dear Lord, it's Jerry. He works for Donnie, and he's just a vain little weasel. You just think you could do something? Yeah, look, uh, we're all booked up in here, friend. Why don't you take a hike, huh? Donnie, he, he feels terrible about leaving you alone all this time, Dakota, but the duck boat sank. Well, it rained, nearly drowned. You have a dive pop, please. Donnie's real depressed, Dakota. You ought to seen him out there treading water with all them ducks floating around mocking him, all arrogant like it's. Come on back, Pumpkin Donnie. He wants to make up. Can't you just get him out of here? I mean, he's ruining our fun. Hey, hey, Jones, Garcia, why don't you show Jerry here what a nice street we got outside? Hey, hey, huh? this is a private matter here. Just yeah. make sure when he lands, he don't hit hey, my new come car. Come on, guys, the joke's over, you know? Uh, Dakota, you're gonna be real sorry he made his choice. Real sorry. You know, Donnie doesn't take just anybody duck hunting, you know? You got that, Amy? Right. Face? This stuff really stinks. What is in this grease, anyway? It's not grease. What is it? 
face. Face? Boy, the well is never dry with you, is it, Face? Well, uh, if I'd have pulled up, let me show you how to aim that thing uh, routine, you'd never let me hear the end of it. I caught the act as I rode up. Oh, come on, Amy. I could use the help. I'm sure you could. But I'm through being suckered by you. It's just a straight little scam. It'll go down easy and it'll get us everything Hannibal wants. Come on. Hmm? Pretty, please? Pretty? Face, I was in the grease. I told you. No, you didn't tell me. I can still smell it. Well, I had a little of this. And a little of that. I know, you told me that. But that's not enough, Face. Ah, come on, Amy, what do you say? Sorry, Face. Well, if I told you it was in that stuff, then I'm sure he wouldn't help. What? Never mind. I'll do it on my own. Lone Star 4, got a fare at the YMCA. YMCA? Now, listen, Amy, give that to Captain Cab, will you? I don't do pickups of men's organizations. You know, yeah, hair salons, fashion boutiques. Any place a pretty girl can be found. Face, you're the closest. Uh, what's that, Amy? You're fading out. Okay. I didn't know you were a diver, Face. I'm not. Handel and B.A. are the guys with the experience below the waterline, mining bridges in Nam 